The Ukrainian army continues its counteroffensive in the Melitopol area, causing losses to the Russian occupation forces, entrenching on the liberated areas and carrying out demining and additional reconnaissance. We have partial success on the west of Verbove. Total enemy losses are 147 men. Six pieces of enemy military equipment were destroyed, in particular two tanks, three armored fighting vehicles and one artillery system. Also three ammunition piles of the enemy were blown up. Oleksandr Tarnavsky, commander of the Tavria Operative Strategic Group of Forces, on Telegram. The Russians continue to launch their subversive groups from the left bank of the Dnipro River, from the occupied territory of Kherson region and maneuver between the Icelands. At the same time, the Ukrainian military successfully destroys the enemy's subversive group and holds the defense, said Natalia Huminyuk, head of the United Coordination Press Center of the Defense Forces of Thorzen, Ukraine. We realize that we are dealing with a rather inadequate enemy. Our defenses are quite tight and enemy advancement is not expected. Natalia Huminyuk, head of United Coordinating Press Center of Security and Defense Forces of South of Ukraine, on the air of the Ukrainian National Telethon. Thanks to Ukrainian intelligence, a lot of Russian military equipment was destroyed. Among the targets were artillery installations, electronic warfare equipment and multiple rocket loungers. It is also reported that the Russian occupiers suffered heavy losses in manpower. The Ukrainian general staff and Ukrainian Tavrysk Group of Forces spokesperson Colonel Oleksandr Shtuk reported that Ukrainian forces achieved partial success west of Verbove, 18 kilometers southeast of Orikhiv, and near Klishivka, 5 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, and Andrivka, 10 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut. Ukrainian Eastern Group of Forces spokesperson Captain Ilya Yevlash reported that Russian forces are relying less heavily on aviation and drone activity in the kupinsk direction due to heavy rainfall. From a report by the Institute for the Study of War, According to Petro Andrushenko, the Mariupol mayor's advisor, the Russian occupiers have pulled up reserves to Mariupol. About 5,000 soldiers are wearing new uniforms that have not been used before. It is reported that this is the first replenishment in six months. This shows that they understand perfectly well that we are about 15 kilometers away from Tokmak, and very soon we will reach it. Then only the Kerch Bridge will be left. When we manage to block the possibility of supplies from the territory of the Russian Federation through the southern corridor and completely destroy the Kerch Bridge, the Crimean grouping and the Kherson grouping will be without supplies of everything that is necessary for combat operations. Meanwhile, the Russians are relocating their boats in the occupied Crimea by land, fearing that they will be destroyed by the Ukrainian armed forces forces at sea. The Atash guerrilla movement recorded how a military boat was transported by lorry from a port of Feodosia deep into the annexed Crimean Peninsula. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.